So lastly, there is a more complicated example here at the end of the lecture. And uh, I really recommend you, you know, to catch up up to this point and then have a look at this example later because it is a bit involved. So what we have here is a three-dimensional array and you could imagine it to be like this cube and we have besides row and columns we have also some kind of depth here so different layers okay so and if we create an array that has two columns three rows and a depth of four we have in total of 24 elements so what what the compiler needs to do well it needs to assign allocate those 24 elements and it serializes them into memory like here basically the the first um component and address is always the slowest one so we see that this remains zero as long as possible while we change the last addresses as we know about so and how can we access them well we have to use in this case three nested loops um, to access the elements and to initialize them for instance yeah and you can use this to go on to four dimensional arrays and so on right um, have a look I think it's not so so much different now let's talk more about this example where we want to store a collection of documents in a 3d structure so you could imagine that the depth represents basically a, a document so you have a couple of documents right and each is it one of these layers and then in a document you have a row which is basically the line and you have a column which is uh, the number of characters representing characters in such a document so what you could do you could store all the documents that you have in such a data structure to get you know these 2d documents into such a data structure as follows you have a document as first um, index then you have the line representing the row then you have the character in the column basically so we have a 2d document that looks like this hello this is a document and you could end a line with backslash zero for instance to know that it ends or backslash n and uh, now what you want to do is you want to read text from standard in to fill those documents basically reading one document after another and then you would compute some statistics about those docs you find this code in as document example.c in the git and have a look about it because it's more involved. <laughs>